Hey y'all, I have a regular thrift store haul today instead of the bins like usual. Um, I went all day yesterday. I was so tired. I took a nap about an hour ago. I couldn't handle it any longer. Um, I went to two stores and spent a total of $430.07, which is a lot more than what I normally spend. I got 62 items in total. I have not counted up what's actually in the bags here. That is what's on these receipts. So take that with a grain of salt. I'll put it down here if it's anything different, but hopefully they got the numbers right or didn't count some of them. Hopefully I didn't get overcounted instead. Uh, <clears throat> my total cost per goods was six dollars and 94 cents which is a lot more than i'm used to spending um the second store i went to while i was standing in line the cashier was talking to one of the regulars and said that they just got a new manager and they are going to drop prices soon i know that's not something you normally hear at goodwills everybody's raising prices raising prices but they're gonna drop prices at that location because, and you'll see some of these prices are kind of crazy, kind of high. I have my coffee here because I did take a nap. <laughs> I'm not normally a nap taker, but I was worn out after yesterday, so I needed a nap. Not to mention I woke up at two o'clock this morning with a headache. We have a cold front coming in, so anytime low pressure systems move through the area, I get headaches really bad. I have no idea why. It's a migraine trigger for me. It's fine. It's great. Love it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to this haul. I don't care about all that personal stuff, do you? I see my cool cup. It's a Van Gogh cup. I love this cup. I have two of them. If you have not went to and you have near you the Van Gogh, it's called the Van Gogh Immersive Experience. If you're an art lover, like we are here in this house. It was very good. It was very, very interesting, a very immersive experience. It was really cool. Okay, let's get on with the haul. First up is something that is not clothing. I am primarily a clothing, shoes, accessory seller, but I do know about some stuff. So if I just happen to see something that is really good while I'm at the thrift store, I will pick it up. This is a Department 56 McDonald's set there you go I paid seven dollars and 99 cents for it the cart rolled out right next to me this, this place is so busy that they are bringing out new stuff new racks constantly so I was constantly like going through regular racks and then going and looking at the new racks that were coming out and this rolled out right next to me and I saw it as it was going by and I was just like oh <laughs> we'll check all that let's see what that is and it has a awesome sell through if you know anything about department 56 you know that the um market for department 56 has softened a lot um it's just one of those random things I know I actually have some department 56 stuff in my attic so I looked it up um, right before Christmas because I was going to sell the stuff because I wasn't using it anymore. It's been sitting in my attic forever and my mom is a, an avid Department 56 collector so do know about it. have been in it. I have some sets from the 90s that I want to sell but I'm going to wait for the market to go up because yeah, they've been in my attic for six years. I haven't used them for six years. My children are older. I don't have little kids running around here so there's no point in me putting them up at this point. Anyway, I'm not a big Christmas person anyway. <laughs> That's my mom's thing. It's not really my thing, but it was gifted to me. Anyway, I knew about it, so I looked it up. The sell-through on these are amazing. And <clears throat> I did open it very quickly in the store. I didn't check for, like, pristine condition, but I did see that it was still in the plastic when I opened it up. And, like, the hang tags were still with it and stuff like that. So if it's in pristine condition, I'm gonna price this at $150. And the sell-through is there to get that, amazingly. I, it is absolutely crazy to me. But uh, I think this is one of the rare Department 56 pieces that can still get that kind of money and that kind of sell-through. Not that they're not valuable, there's a lot of them that are valuable. 
but this is one of the better valuable ones. So I just got extremely lucky on this one. I'm seeing if there's a date on it, 1996. So very cool, very vintage. Um, the original one has a number right here. You see it. I don't know why I'm giving you all this information. Y'all are here for clothing. <laughs> there's a number right there that you can look up. It tells you if it's the original one or a, a repro or something like that. A repo, not a repo, a redo, a redo. All right, I'm gonna stop talking about that. But you know, if you're interested in it, there's a lot of videos out there about Department 56, so it's a very cool brand. All right, let's do some clothes. This was on a new rack. Their color of the day was blue. So anything blue will be half price. I looked this brand up because I did not know this brand. It does need some cleaning. It is Stio, S-T-I-O, S-T-I-O. And of course I looked it up because it was puffer. Plus it had the name of the company right here and it had this here. So that always indicates to me that it might be worth something. It's a great price, $4.99, great size, extra large. And I did not check. So I looked up comps real fast because that's what I do. And the ones that are downfilled, of course, get more money. That is always the case with any of this puffer stuff. Um, but I didn't check. It is down. Oh, excellent. It is 90% goose down and 10% feather. So this, from what my quick comps showed me, should get 80 to $100. That's an excellent pickup. Very happy about that. All right. Y'all are going to see a lot of Lululemon, which I think this might be Lululemon. <laughs> First off, I found so much Lululemon at these two stores. There is a Lululemon retail store in between these two locations and these two locations are like seven or eight miles it's in the city so you know it's a 15 minute drive but they're right they're right down the road from each other really in country people terms it's right down the road not so much in the city but there's a lululemon store in between there and this area has a good bit of money so i did find a lot of lululemon way more than i've ever found at either one of these stores so i was really happy about that so I will go over like how I figured it out, you know, quickly how I can figure out that stuff is Lululemon. Um, this was $4.99 also. So that's great for Lululemon. It is a pullover jacket, hooded. Um, I don't see the marks on it. Like there's usually some marks that tell you the size. It might be inside the pocket sometimes. Um, the obvious way you find out that something is Lululemon, I am, look at, there it is. It is a size seven. So is that men's? I think, yeah, that's men's. And I oh know it's a large. <laughs> that is up, down, upside down L. It is a size large. And around here are some letters and numbers. There is a series of letters. I think it starts with an L. I have to look this up every time to figure it out. Oh, I just got an offer. I got a $33 offer for something Madewell. Oh, Madewell belt. I just listed today. Excellent. <laughs> Y'all saw that in my last call. Like that. I will accept. Okay. This one is LM3AUP. You can go, you can Google it. You can Google those numbers. Um, or you can go to Lulu Fanatics and just enter it and you'll find the exact name, which is always great because um, it's better to have the name if you have Lululemon than not have it. Now, how did I very quickly identify that this was Lululemon? Of course, there's the little thing on the back, but are you going to go check every single black hoodie? You can. If you have the time to, have at it. This place, I was high paced. I mean, I'm grabbing stuff up quickly. You know that kind of stuff so of course there was no tag in the inside first thing i did was look sometimes you can see the vestiges of the tag the little white stuff right here this one didn't even have that first thing i did was look at right here that is the first place i go anytime there's drawstrings because these are very distinctive so next time you find some lululemon with some drawstrings look at them these are very distinctive and very quick to figure out that it's lululemon and you can see, you probably can't see it here. I can't see it because I'm blind. <laughs> but you can see, it's right there. You can see the little, little, little lemon logo right there on it. And of course it's on the back too. But 
you know, when I'm doing quick stuff, like I'm just going through really fast, I can look at this real quick and see, see how it's rounded. I mean, it's very distinctive. Once you get to know it, you'll know it, you know? And then of course there's a, a Lululemon logo on the back of the, of the, but that is a fast way. Instead of having to search all over it and trying to figure it out, you can very quickly see it and throw it in your cart and move on and you can check for it, check for stains or holes and stuff like that later on. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying, right? Especially when we're doing the grab on the new racks when there's a ton of people. Oh, I have a lot of good stuff right on the top. Maybe everything's good. <laughs> this is the best find maybe of the day other than the department 56 thing um these are polo ralph lauren they were 9.99 they are a size small which is unfortunate well that's what it says on the tag they're actually not they're 36 34 that's not small my husband's a 36 34 and he's 64 so that's definitely not small um polo ralph lauren made in italy these things jumped out to me immediately it was like uh what is this i mean we see a ton of polo right when we're at these stores we have all our buttons which is nice but we see so much polo it's so hard but i felt them they were like a thick wool and i saw the cargo pockets which got me excited i like the color too Cargo pockets are so in right now, such a big um, draw. And then of course I could tell it was wool. And then I looked on the inside tag and saw it made in Italy. And I saw 100% wool. So I looked these up. Oh my goodness. The last pair that sold, sold for $250. That is insane. The average sale price is above 100. That is crazy. There's only one pair available right now, um, and I have a good size, a big size. I do have a hole that I did see while I was in the store right here. It is on the back of the pants, which is, that's better than nothing. <laughs> you know, if you're going to have a hole, let's have it right here, you know, like, you know, where somebody snagged it or something, but it even has like the zip right here. These are too cool. These are so cool. I, but I am shocked at, at what kind of um, sales price they're getting. I was shocked, amazed. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll have to sit on these, you know, at a price point above $100 for a pair of pants. I would imagine, oh, they're so itchy, that I'm gonna be sitting on them for quite some time. But, you know, when you see comps like that and you see sell-throughs like that, you jump on it. There was, I think, six or seven sold in the last year, and there's only one available now, so. That is an excellent sell through. Very, very happy about that. And the one, the other one that was listed was just listed two weeks ago. So, I have a feeling those are gonna go quick. This was one of the first things I picked up, and I never did put it back. I put a lot of stuff back on uh, both stores. I don't normally, I am not the one, once I pick something, Bins wise, if I'm at the bins, once I pick something, I, I get it because you know, we're at if the bins stays, it's between two and three dollars per item, but closer to seven dollars here. So <laughs> I was very choosy on what I was picking up. So I did put a lot of stuff back, I left a lot of stuff. There was so much stuff I kept seeing that I was like, oh, I would pick up that normally. I know that'll put that'll get twenty dollars in a couple days, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't bite the bullet, it's just too much. Wrangler. Weirdly enough, this is one of those weird ones that sells well. This is a great size. It's an extra, extra, is it extra large? This tag, I'm looking at the tag, it says extra, extra large, but it's not. I see right here, it's extra large. This was $4.99. Extra large Wrangler FR, which means fire retardant. Um, there's a lot of fire retardant stuff that does not do well, but there's a lot of fire retardant stuff that does really well. So I did look this up. Um, these specifically did very well. The lined fire retardant flannel shirts sell in the $30 range, which I told y'all that's what I was going for. I'm going for $30 and more on this day. So at the $7 price point, that's what I want to be at. All right. Another Lululemon. Y'all gonna get tired of this one. This one was easy. I did find one. This one actually had the tags in it. 
Look at that. <laughs> I think this is the only one that had tags in it. Size six, some little purple shorts. They had these priced up because obviously they were able to identify them. They are $9.99. I think the vast majority of the ones I found other than those shorts are going to be black and that's why they're missed by people and they're also missed by the pricers because of that. These, oh, the new tags. I have so much new tag stuff. It came from both stores. Beer Millar, size 36. Great size, great color, new tags, shorts. Retailed at $98, that is insane. Um, paid $8.99 for them. They do price up stuff when they're new tags. So you do pay a premium on that, but you are you normally get a premium on new tags. So that's very understandable there. What is this? This is, oh, I got this because it was half off. You had to throw some cheap stuff in there when you get such high prices like this. Um, $4, so it ended up being $2. It was priced at $3.99, so paid $2 for just a Duluth regular old t-shirt. Had it not been an extra large, I wouldn't have picked it up, but since it was extra, I might end up giving this to my husband, actually. This looks like something he would really like, and at $2, I don't mind giving him that. He always tells me, don't give me stuff that you can sell for like $50 or more. He doesn't, he's not interested in it. <laughs> it's a $20 item. You can have that. <laughs> he's very cheap, just like me. All right. This was $4.99. This was a good find. I was really happy about this one. And it's weird and it's totally different than what, you know, we normally find. But it is a vintage item. And I looked it up because it was wool. And it's like the buffalo plaid. These are not common I wish I would have remembered. So I, the stuff that I remembered this morning that I picked up, I did look up a little bit of comps just to, you know, have some familiarity with what I'm telling you during the video. But this is a size large. It is wool. It is Portland. So I did look this up on eBay and I want to say it was around $40 to $50 that these were selling for. There was only one sold and there was only one available. So I just went ahead and went with it. At $4.99, large. I am getting out of the right season for this, unfortunately. So, that is the only bad thing. But it is in really great condition. I was very much, much more careful about looking at condition at the stores, too, than I normally am because of the price points, obviously. This one is up in the air. I'm not really sure about this one. It is Psycho Bunny. Obviously, I'm going to look this up. Psycho Bunny. Very cool, it needs a wash. It does have some stains on it, but I decided it was worth a try. $4.99 and size medium, it says eight. Is there a size, well, US size? No US size, yep. Anyway, I did look this up and saw that the comps were above 30, so I'm okay with that one. That one is what needs some stain treatment though, unfortunately, but I usually have pretty good luck with getting stains out of Stuff like that. And, oh, I meant to look this up and I didn't. Oh, well. I right, hope it does okay. I bet this one goes for under 30. This brand used to be like one of those banger brands that people would get so excited about. But I don't find that it sells that great anymore. It's a size large at least and it's a marmot. And it is a good bright color. It's just a plaid marmot shirt. I can almost guarantee you this is only going to go for like $20. $4.99. Oh well, should have looked that one up. Did not remember to. Hey, I am kind of bad at looking stuff up sometimes. <laughs> Here's a brand I haven't found in a while, so I was really excited. Well, I have found it, but it's been like in like these little thin pajama pants that I keep finding, which I still pick them up because it's at the bins. But I actually found a dress for once. It is Lily Pulitzer, size small. Is it a size small? Yep, size small. Blue tag, so she was half off. That means she sat for a while and nobody picked her up. $3.50. And it's cute. It's like a cute little, little, is it a jumper? Yes, it's a cute little cotton jumper. Oh, this was so cute. This was in the dress area. I always do well in the dress area at this store because their dress area is packed so full 
that you can barely get through it and your arms start hurting and it's like a whole wall like the one wall of the whole store is nothing but the dresses just packed so tight so i think a lot of people just don't even bother going through it because it's aggravating so i kind of don't blame them but i did find that all the racks that i went through that were really really packed i was finding better stuff so i get it i understand people don't want to put the work in especially if you live right down the road from there like, why would you put the work in? You could probably walk in there and get 10 items in like an hour. You know, you don't have to stay all day like me. But anyway, super cute. Like I said, got it for $3.50. So very happy about that one. That means this baby sat for quite some time. Do they have the dates on these? 124.23. So yeah, it's been there almost a month. Okay. What is this? I don't even remember what I got. I vaguely remember this one. I think this one's silk. Oh, and other stories. And other stories always does really well for me. It sells so fast. I don't find it very often, but when I do find it, it sells really, really fast. I did not look this one up. I didn't look up the Blue Pulitzer either. I'm not worried about that one selling. And I'm not worried about the and other stories one selling. I think this was silk. It doesn't feel like silk. So maybe not. It feels like polyester or something. No, I didn't look at this tag, so it probably is polyester because I don't remember looking at yeah, it's polyester. So that means there's some other dress in here that is silk. Anyway, this one does not have a tag on it. So I don't know how much I paid for this. Probably a regular price. Huh. Didn't even notice that. Anyway, it is a very cute little polka dotted dress and it's a size eight, so it's a medium. So good size. I think this will do just fine. Very cute. And then you tell I'm in the dress section. <laughs> Lots of dresses. This is a dress that was $6.99. It is free people. Also did not look this one up. I think it'll do fine. It's got this great Aztec print on it. I do believe I've sold this one before. And cute little puff sleeves and a back cutout. You know, I can look up the model of this dress very easily. So it is a medium, so it's good size. This is so cute. I really like this one. Definitely a pickup on that. I love that embroidery. It's so pretty. Okay. Okay, this one. Huh? <laughs> I went with this one. This was $6.99. I just went with it. It's an anthropology brand, but I have no idea what the brand is. It's got, this is not gonna be easy to show y'all either. Okay, there we go. It is, I'm assuming this is a swimsuit cover up of some kind. It almost looks like a sari or a, um, not a muumuu. -moo. What's the word I'm thinking of? A caftan. So it's like this really thin fabric and it's got these cute little tassels on it that kind of just like hang down on this panel. And it has these, I mean, it's very obvious that it's a good quality dress when you look at it. And it's got like this metal here and these rope ties things. Maybe that helps. <laughs> I, I do think it's a swimsuit cover up. So the tag is this mermaid and just looking at the tag i was like that's got to be something it's got to be something good so i did google lens the tag there you can see it better what does it say on it it says one size made in china doesn't say anything and i did look at the back of the tag and it did have the 66170 as the rn number 66170 rn is a very good indicator it's right there that is something that's from anthropology does it say anthropology on here too because that would be funny i'll be like uh yeah of course it's from anthropology it says it no it doesn't um i will google i'm looking to see if it has anything else anyway it does not high quality tag anthropology I did do the lens search on just the tag and only uh, like three things came up and one of them said rare mermaid tag anthropology or some crap. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I was not going down a 30 minute rabbit hole trying to figure out what this thing was. I was like, okay, we're just going to take a chance on that and see what happens. So who knows? 
Sometimes I just take chances on things. And this is a dress that I got for $6.99. It is also new with tags. It is a J. Jill dress, $99 J. Jill dress. It is the J. Jill Wherever Collection and is a medium petite. Look at this cute dress. I think this dress will do just fine. Very, very cute. Just boxy style. Um, easy, super easy to wear type dress. That'll do fine. That is one bag. Okay. Second bag from this store. Y'all, I ended up having to check out. I, I had like two or three rows that I had not went down yet. And my cart was so full that I just checked out. I was like, I cannot spend a whole day just in this store. I could have. I mean, I could have just camped out and just went through all the new stuff that kept coming out. I kind of did, but um, I'm like, okay, I have to go to another store. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Which I'm glad I did because I did well at that store too. So, um, Drake. Drake Waterfowl Systems. I found out about this brand very accidentally and now I pick it up a lot because it does really well. $5.99. I had picked up a like a little puffer jacket probably a year ago and it sold very quickly in the $30 range and it had stains on it. Still sold super fast and I was like shocked by it because it's just a hunting brand so nothing special. And my husband was like, no, that's an expensive brand that people love. So now when I see it, I know that and I pick it up. So I did look these pants up. I looked up Drake Waterfowl Systems pants and they were right in the $30 range. So, and some higher, of course, as usual. And these are just like the most random common pants, you know, you can think of. These are they're very, very desirable. I'll just put it that way. You know, a lot of people like these thick canvas type pants. So that's kind of a no brainer on that. Another pair of new tags, Adriana Goldschmied new tags jeans. These were probably nine, eight ninety nine. That's pretty good. Eight ninety nine. They are my husband's size, but he told me he didn't want them last night. So he said, how much will they sell for? And I looked it up. I was like, mm, 60 to $80. He's like, I don't want those. <laughs> God, yeah, I love that man. But it's just jeans. It's just Adriana Goldschmied graduate jeans. They had a pair, the exact same pair, right next to these that the tags were off of that were 36 to 33 that I would have got for my husband. He's 34, though. He's got super long legs, so 33 probably would not have fit him. Sometimes 34s don't. But there was another pair of used ones right next to them that I probably could have got $30 for. Probably should have picked them up, but oh well. I was already picking up so much stuff. You know, I was going for the, the bangers. What we got here? Mammoth. I did not know this brand, but they looked high quality. I feel like I knew this brand, this brand like in the back of my brain somewhere. And you know how y'all have like the random, I think that's something. I don't remember if it is kind of thing. Yeah. That's what this was. These were $5.99 and I saw, you know, this on here and they just seemed like they were high quality. I think, my, you know what? These are new without tags, look at that. These were next to the, the graduate ones, the uh, Adriana Goldschmidt. But I did, I mean, the tag to me said high quality, expensive brand. They look brand new, obviously. So I looked up the brand. I was impressed with the comps and the sell through. So Brad with those, and I can't remember offhand exactly what it was. Sorry about that. I didn't look this one up either, but I think it's gonna do just fine. This was, ooh, this was $9.99. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have got that one. Oh well. It's an extra large. That's a plus. It's a polo. I'd like to look this up and find out. It has the patch. I've always talked to y'all about the patch. Those are always good. Um, it's Polo Challenge Cup, RL Snow Polo Challenge Cup Polo Team. These patches do well. It's also got like this quilted top to it. I have blocked the window out there. And then it has these quilted elbows on it. And it's got like the vent on it. 
Um, I've sold enough polo. I think that this will probably fetch around $40, if not more. It just depends. Sometimes you look up polo stuff and you're like, what? <laughs> Why does that get so much? You know? And then sometimes it's like, how does that not get more? All right, here's another Lululemon. This one has stacks. All right, size 34. I have a couple pairs of these. Um, I kept finding Lululemon shorts, men's shorts. These were $4.99, excellent. So the way that I identify the Lululemon shorts, strangely enough, is this plain black matte button. <laughs> you would not think that that would be a way to do it, but when I see that button on the front, I look to see if they're Lululemon, and these actually do not have, oh, there it is. I was gonna say they don't have any identifying. There it is right there. But obviously it was quick for me to just see the tag on these. These are great. These are really nice, I like these. Hopefully they have the size tag. They're like a, let's see if you can see it through the window. Yeah, you can, look at that. It's like a net almost. These are nice. These are super nice. They don't look like they were worn very much. It's probably the same guy. Somebody does not wear their clothes that much. Somebody I would like to camp out in their closet. <laughs> All right, athletic dress, $6.99. It looks new too, that's why I got it. It's size large. I mean, it doesn't look like it was, it was barely worn. A lot of this stuff looks like it's brand new. So, no brainer on that one. Did not bother looking that up because it was so nice. And then this needs a good wash. I did look this one up today. This was a dress that was sold on Revolve. This was $6.99. To me, is this one was a no brainer. I was like, this has got to get more than $30. It's a free people dress. It's got this cute puff sleeve. I think it's called the Valerie. It was, sold on, it was definitely sold on Revolve. She needs a good wash. Um, I feel like this whole family just, these were all the same new rack. This whole family just buys stuff once and then gets rid of it. Size medium. Um, on the used market, I was seeing comps in the 30s and 40s. So that one will do just fine. This is so cute. This was with, with that. This is also from Revolve. This is no big deal. These comps were in the 40s also. I did look this one up in the store. I didn't really need to, honestly, because it's a romper. Rompers are super popular. It's sequined, which is so cute. Look how cute this is. I had to look up comps on Poshmark for this one. If you find um, Revolve brands, you'll do better finding your comps on Poshmark in general rather than eBay. So anytime I'm looking up Revolve brands, I look there instead. $6.99 for that one. So cute. <laughs> I really like that one. I think that is adorable. I love sequins anyway. What is this? Some purple pants. Oh, this is, um, this is figs, strangely enough. I actually left a bunch of figs. They were $1.99 on the new rack, so I grabbed them since they were so cheap. I picked up a bunch of them that were $1.99. They had a ton of them. It was a bunch of shirts, and when I went to look at them, look, look over them later on when I picked them up, um, they had a lot of uh, deodorant marks, and you know, at seven dollars a piece, I am not. You know, the overall cost seven dollars a piece. I'm not willing to do that kind of work. Yeah, you know, if they'd been at the bins, probably so, but I'm not willing to put that kind of work in. And I have gotten figs before, and could not get the deodorant marks out of them. I might have been able to this time. I wasn't willing to try it. I've been burned on that before. $1.99, maybe I should have tried because they were more current pieces, but I don't find fake sell for that much anymore anyway. So these won't sell for a lot, but $1.99, yeah, it was cheap enough to pick up. I think this is another pair of Lululemons. Yep, it is. <laughs> this, I don't have a, a hint for how I figured it out. <laughs> they don't have the tag on them other than they just felt good. You know, sometimes it's just because they feel good. They were $5.99 and it says size large. I don't think that there's, a, oh, there is a size top. Oh, these are all newer too, this is nice. Oh, they're size 10, that's excellent. Once again, has the 
numbers and letters around it. So I will be able to find the, I think those are wonder unders. I will be able to find the style very easily, which is nice. Oh, and at this store also, I think I find a lot of the Lululemon also because they put it with the regular pants, which are also all smushed together. So I went through the whole regular pants. It's those little things that matter. It's those little things that you figure out over time when you go to the same places, those things matter, you know, figuring out that, you know, I can find awesome dresses there because nobody really goes to the dresses, but I don't really find a lot of shirts there because everybody goes to the shirts pretty well. So I don't, I didn't even bother with the shirts this time because I know everybody goes to the shirts, but I know people don't go through the pants there. So I go through the pants very thoroughly there. Those little things matter. You learn those things along the way about your own personal experiences in your own thrift stores. It's a size small. See, it's marked slacks. It's not slacks. This is leggings. $5.99. Um, what are these? These are Athleta. I got these because I just thought they were cute. And they're probably a newer style, if I had to guess. And they look brand new. So... And yeah, I like Athleta. And you can tell by this that they are a newer style. That's a newer, a newer logo there. Getting worn out. These are cute. I should have left these behind. It's just shorts. They're $4.99. But I just thought they were really cute. They are free people. And they're embroidered. I just thought they were adorable. And we are coming up on summer. So I'm sure they'll sell just fine. 28, not the best size in the world. Not the worst. You know, medium. Those are really cute, though. I probably should put those back. Oh, well. I... Oh, there's Patagonia. <laughs> Patagonia, and they were $1.99. This store has the most inconsistent pricing I have ever seen. $1.99 for Patagonia pants. What the heck? Size large. Joggers. They look new. That is excellent. Love that. So, yeah, I mean, if I wanted to be cheap and not spend, you know, the higher prices, I could have. You know, there are plenty of lower price things in there, but my whole thing yesterday was that I wanted to be $30 and above. So, that's probably won't sell for 30 They might, I don't know. Depends on if they're popular or not. $5.99 for some Athlete. Al Alpha Elite? Alpha Elite. That was another brand that was somewhere in my brain. Um, and... I thought it might be something. It's got the little crisscross front, which is great. It's just leggings. And I'm sure it says slacks. Yep, slacks. <laughs> uh, they do not have tags, unfortunately. They are torn out, so I will have to measure them. But the Alpha Elite stuff. Oh, they need washing too. Mm, I probably would have left these behind. Alpha Elite is like... I saw some crazy comps on these. So, you know, they're right up there with uh, Lululemon and Zaya. I was kind of shocked at the the uh, comps on those and the sell-through. So, those should do really well and sell really fast. Very happy about that. Some more Athleta. These are the Stellar City Tight. I've sold these before. I know they do well. I didn't look them up. It is size eight when it has the name under here. This is the newer logo and tag. These look brand new. Once again, love, love, love that. Love when they seem brand new. I mean, these are in such good condition. It's not even funny. $5.99 slacks once again. And then there, is a, there should be another pair. Yep, here they are. These were all next to each other, so probably all the same person. Size 8, Athleta. These are great. It's like a cargo pant. Um, if you don't know, which probably most people do know, but Athleta does have style numbers on their tags. You can see the S right here at the top. That's their style number. And you can just Google it very easily and figure it out what the name of them is if it's not on there. These were also $5.99. These are great too. And they look brand new. So both of those pairs seem like they're brand new. What is this? Oh, some Joe's jeans. I hardly ever pick up Joe's jeans. They were $6.99. I only picked these up. I don't really even go through the jeans. These just happen to be with the slacks. So, and I went through the slacks because 
of <laughs> all of the lemon, but these were a boot cut and a raw edge and a dark wash. So all those things, I said, yes, I will take those. And they're size 30. They're the Honey Kirby boot. Did not look them up by, I'm sure they do just fine. Yeah. This might be one of those things that goes for 25 or 30 bucks. So not everything's going to go for 30 and above. Whew. All right. I'm going to take a break. I will stitch this together later. I'm going to take a break. All right. I am back. Took the puppies out for a walk. I got raindrops on me. Sprinkling outside. I have three pairs of shoes. This is the second store I went to. This store was a mess. This is the one that the manager's saying they're gonna drop the prices to get stuff moving because there's a lot of stuff, but really excited about those. Three people, shoes. I think I've only found three people's shoes like twice in my life. So I was really happy about that. These are so cute. So like embossed um, wooden clog bottoms, so cute. And size 40, they are new, look at that new shoes. They had a lot of new stuff in this store. I don't know why, but these are so cute. I really like these a lot. And then some Ugg slippers. Let me see how I pay for those. Let me see how I price on those. Paid $8.99 for those. So much higher prices than I'm used to, but I don't see those doing bad. I did not look up the comps on those, so we shall see. These are Ugg slippers. Look how cute these are. I paid, ooh, I paid $14.99 for those. My goodness, big spender. Brand spanking new though. Really cute. Did look up the comps for these. Um, $50. So, perfectly fine with $15 if it's going to be $50. How oh, and these. I love these. I was so happy when I found these. This was the first thing I found in this store. I was like, oh, I'm so glad I left the other store. This is so good. Fry boots. Fry boots. Really pretty, beautiful fry boots. Definitely need a good stuffing and a good um, leather conditioner, but they are worn. They were used, but I still think I should get a pretty good price for these. And what did I pay for these? And they have the numbers inside, which is nice. So I'll be able to figure out very easily which boots these are. Probably the Melissa nine and a half, great size. Love these boots, these are beautiful. And they were only $9.99. Pricing is so weird at these stores. I'm telling you. Those Ugg slippers, they had another pair of Ugg slicker, slippers right next to them that I could not find the actual slippers because they were samples and it said not for resale. And they had them priced at like $30. So I was not willing to take a chance on that. So I did have a little bit of um, conservativeness in me still <laughs> did not go too crazy but i did go a little crazy let's see this is a soft surrounding dress this is so pretty it's a 6.99 love this dress it's like a sweater dress wrong season hi kitty how are you i didn't even know you were inside it's like this long sweater dress with this cute little peplum hem this is so cute and i think it had really good it feels like it's got cashmere in it i want to say it was like cashmere and silk soft surroundings there you go i love this brand it always sells really well for me it has five percent angora that's it so not anything super like out there i did leave behind right next to this was a cardigan that was lafayette 149 and it was beautiful it was cashmere and silk but it had snags all over it and it was dirty and I just was not willing to do the work. Had it been half off, maybe I would have done the work to sell it, but it just wasn't worth it. And I already had so much good stuff. So I did leave that one behind. Like I said, there was a lot of nice stuff that I left behind that, you know, when I'm paying these kind of prices, I want stuff that's easy and quick. I don't want to have to work for the money on stuff like this. Look at this. I love this poncho. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren. I didn't look this up because I just liked it so much that I just picked it up. It is $4.99. That's not a bad price, really. 
Lauren, Ralph Lauren, but it's just this great poncho and it was in excellent condition, no issues whatsoever on it. So kind of felt like that one was a no brainer too. And then more Lily Pulitzer. I found Lily Pulitzer at both stores. I know I shouldn't get that excited about Lily Pulitzer, but I just don't see it that much anymore. So it feels like I'm seeing an old friend when I find her. Um, size 14, which is a great size. It is this sleeveless, super great springtime dress. I feel like this will sell very quickly. Maybe not. Who knows? It was $9.99. They like that price, don't they? I see a lot of $9.99s on here, but this is a great dress. I don't see any stains or anything. Once again, it looks new. So much of this stuff looks brand new. I'm going to have to keep going. At $7, we're going to have to see how these, these things sell and what kind of prices I'm getting for a lot of it, but I don't know. And everything looks new. It's really nice. You know, there is that, that, that you can sell things faster because it looks like it's in such great condition and it's newer styles instead of going to the bins and getting older styles and stuff that's a little bit more worn and needs a lot more work. I'm kind of enjoying this. I might be getting spoiled. This is a Bowden dress. It's a size six. It was $6.99. Once again, it looks like it's pretty much new. It's super cute. I love this cute little dress. Great little spring summer style Bowden dress. Nice thick font fabric. This was a new to me brand that I could not find anything on. Um, look how bright this is. This is so bright. It is Valfi and it's extra, extra large, which is great. And she's new with tags, so it's also great. And I don't know, something about it told me that it was high quality. And it had like all this fancy talk about how great their company is on it. <laughs> so I did look it up on eBay and didn't really find much. It says Valfi is the LA-based label that was founded by artist Islay Valfi. Bold and unapologetically tongue-in-cheek. It has quickly become the global source for creative and wild at heart. We really like ourselves. Anyway, it's a super cute little dress. So it is out there and it is bright. So didn't see much on eBay for it. So I went over to Poshmark and saw that it did pretty well. I was seeing 30s and 40s once they were tagged. So maybe even better. Happy about that one. What is this? Fitjoy. Good old foot joy. This one's a regular tag. That means it was regular price. Shirt, yellow tag. Probably $5.99 if I had to guess. $4.99, $5.99. I'm not even sure, honestly. But you see how many things have actual prices on it? That's how many things are priced up at these stores. The, the regular prices, they just have the color tags on them. That's how much they are, are priced up. These always do well. These foot joy. I left a lot of foot joy behind actually yesterday, which was really sad because I love picking up foot joy. I love the sell through of it. This is a medium. There was three foot joy shirts with this polos that were, uh, they looked brand new too. I mean, they looked brand spanking new. I'm surprised they didn't have the tags on them. They were $9.99 a piece though. And I said, no, I can't do it. Can't do it. Not at $10 a piece. Plus this was closer to the end of the day and I knew I had already spent a ton of money. Roan, this is the first time I've ever found this brand. Um, this was another one of those brands that was somewhere in my head that it was a good one. It's extra large polo. Sell through on this is great. Um, it's not gonna get a ton of money. $4.99, probably 30 bucks, which is that price point that I was looking for. So, and it's just a polo, so maybe that one will sell for less, I'm not sure. But I did see a great, great, great sell-through on that. And anytime I find a brand that I've never gotten before, that I don't have experience with, I like to pick it up. So I like to get some experience with it, even at those prices. This is Clara Sun Woo. I just picked this brand up recently at, oh, I did not see that it was, uh, I wonder if I can fix that. It's been taken in, but it has that extra fabric had i seen that i would have left it i can take that out real quick and easily but it's kind of aggravating that i didn't notice that i would have left that behind had i noticed it but 
Clara Sunwoo. I just sold a Clara Sunwoo pair of pants. These are small. Now, the other ones I had were an extra large, but they were plain black. And I want to say I sold them for the $30 range, and they sold within a day. So, and they were 1X, which is good, but I'd like to try the brand out again and see if the smaller size is still just as well. And, you know, this print is really cute, so go try it out again. I like those a lot. Those are cute. And then Zaya. Zaya sells really well, $30 range. And also the store puts the, the stuff in the slacks. It's a slacks one, $5.99. Um, there's your logo you're looking for. It's on the back of all their pants. And these are, ew, these are a zero. Gross. <laughs> They'll probably still sell though, so that's fine. These are cute though. They have a really cute print on the, on the pants. So, does it see through? Nope. It's like a weird, different fabric, too. These are cute. Okay, those should do just fine, though. All right, what is this? Oh, some Spanx. It's not a day of thrifting if you don't find a pair of Spanx. I do. I find a lot of Spanx. Uh, $6.99. These will sell just fine. It's the Genish. They're gray with a cute little raw hem. These will sell very quickly. Love those. They always sell around the $30 range. It's a beta brand. Love to pick up beta brand. And I don't see it very often, so I was happy to see it. And extra large long, which is a great size. They don't have a tag on them at all. So I guess I just paid the regular pants price. But these look brand new too. Everything looks brand new. It's amazing. Just for the factor of that, I feel like I want to go back to the store like every week at this point because I'm really liking the brand new stuff. This is great. The Peter Millar. This is so funny. Okay, so I found two pairs of pants that were Peter Millar. They're new attacks. New attacks Peter Millar can sell for I'll say 50 on the low end and then sometimes 70 and 80 dollars depending on which ones you have. So that is excellent. The reason I'm saying this is because I paid way too much for one pair. These were sitting right next to each other. They were obviously, they were on the new rack right next to each other. So here's one pair. These are the Comfort Sport. They were originally $158. This is insane. And what size are they? They're 38. So great size, 38, 32. But brand new, I checked really closely for any stains on these because obviously they're a light color and they only wanted $5.99 for these. And then the pair right next to them, also new with tags. This makes no sense. These are $168. They are the Crown Crafted, which I do think goes for a little bit more. I can't believe I paid this much for these. $20, $19.99. I know, I know. This is crazy that I paid that much for them, but I know they'll sell and I know they'll sell for a good bit. And at the end of the day, I average my prices. So <sighs> that was hard, that was hard. That was really hard. I kept putting it back. I kept putting, taking my own <laughs> $20. These people are crazy, $20, but oh well. Chico's, it's the only Chico's thing I picked up because Chico's doesn't sell for a lot, but I just, I could not pass this up. It is so cute. Look at this, it's embroidered and look how pretty. I love this shirt. It is so pretty. It was half off. So their shirts, I think they're $4.99 or $5.99. No, they're $4.99, I do remember that. So I paid $2.50 for this one. And is it a good fabric? I bet it's polyester. It would be awesome if it was like silk, but I don't know if I've ever seen Chico silk. It's viscose. That doesn't surprise me, but this is so pretty. I think this will sell just fine. It's probably, it's not gonna sell for $30, but you know, you gotta have a couple little low items in there. At least I do. Sometimes I don't have any self-control. This is, these were also half off Pilcro and the leather press. They are a slim boyfriend, size 27. It is shorts, so not gonna get a ton of money for these, but at least they were half off, so didn't pay a lot for them. Probably 250. And here is another pair 
not another pair, a pair of Roan shorts. I found three pieces of Roan, which is great. So I can find, I can try that brand out. This is their logo, in case you're wondering. Um, these shorts, I didn't, did not have a tag in them, so I didn't know what they were. And then I saw the XXX on the back and I was just like, it's probably something, you know? And then I looked inside and there it was. I don't think these had the size on them, which is fine. I don't have a problem with just measuring stuff and figuring out the size. That's not a big deal to me. They do have a style number, so hopefully it makes it easy to figure out what they are. These were $4.99 and they've been there for a little while. They were red tagged, so probably they didn't have a tag, so people go through real quickly and just don't even see it. So there's another pair in here somewhere. Lululemon. Told you there's a lot of Lululemon. $5.99 slacks. <laughs> it's so stupid. These were a little bit harder to figure out, but I felt them and they felt really nice. And then there's a zipper on the back. So first of all, I saw that and said, hmm, those might be Lululemon. And then the zipper didn't have a Lululemon thing on them. So I've never seen these before. These were probably like a really, really new style, but I did was able to find the little thing on the back. So I hope these have a size tag in them so that I can have a style number because I have never seen these before. I hope they're new. <laughs> I mean, I hope that with everything I see with Lululemon, but I'm not gonna spend a ton of time looking for the size dot. Maybe there is one somewhere, hopefully so. But these are great. These are so nice. Okay. I think this is the other pair of Roan shorts, is it? Yep, $4.99. Same thing, has the X's on the back. Another pair of shorts. These shorts, the prices, the comps on these were pretty good. I was really impressed with it. And then the tag was also on the inside. At that point, I was just looking at all the sporty shorts and looking for those X's on them. Um, but they were right around $30, $28, $30 for a pair of shorts. That's excellent. I didn't look these up and I wanted to. I meant to look these up because they're so cute. Um, $4.99, they are Peter Millar swim shorts. I've never seen Peter Millar swim shorts. I thought these were really cute, so I got them. Eh, they're probably not gonna go for a lot. <laughs> probably shouldn't have picked them up. But here we are, $4.99 for those. They are, they do look new, much like most of this stuff. They are the Seaside Collection and they are an extra large. You know, if these don't go for a lot, I'll just end up giving them to my husband. So my mom has a pool and he swims a lot. So he'll use them, not a big deal. And the only pair of cool things, I, cool shorts I found, which was surprising because I usually find a lot of cool. So maybe I don't find a lot of cool, a lot of cool in this area. I've showed y'all that before. That is the snap on the cool pants. So they're super easy to find in the thrift stores. If you're looking for that, these are just a pair of shorts, nothing special, $4.99, eight, size eight, probably women's. They look like a women's pair of shorts, cute color, nothing special. Oh, I forgot I had these and these were half off. So I only paid $2.50 for them. Love this brand. I saw the button first when I was going through and I knew what that was. It's Free Fly. If you don't know about Free Fly, Free Fly is great. I've only sold it once before. And it's so it was a shirt that had a hole in it and it had stains and it still sold within a day for like $27, $28. It was insane. I could not believe it. So free fly, great, great brand to pick up. I have no doubt that these will sell super fast. I will probably take pictures of these today and get them listed. That's how quick they sell. Um, I will not need to steam them. I'll, I'm going to list them with the wrinkles. They sell so, so fast, so, and they were half off. That means they would have been sitting there for a long time. That is so great, I love that one, love, love, love. That was like my most excited find of the day, even though they're not gonna sell for a ton of money. I just get excited when I see brands that I know that I, that are really good, you know? Um, chubbies, I'm, I left behind a lot of chubbies, actually. I, I was seeing a good bit of chubbies. Um, chubbies is, there's a lot of chubbies on the market and it is popular it does pretty well but it doesn't get like those super super high prices 
so I did not pick up a lot of the chubbies that I was seeing. So these were $4.99. They were an extra large. They're a lounge type short though. And I just thought these were so different than the normal chubbies stuff that you see that I thought maybe that these would do a little better than, you know, the chubbies that I see all the time. That was my thinking on that one. All right, what is this? I don't remember. Oh, this is Lululemon. It's gotta be. I don't see it yet, but it's gotta be. It, it feels like it is. $4.99. Looking <laughs> these blue. I remember how I figured out this was Lululemon. Um, so I saw them and felt them. I'm like, oh, they're soft. What are these? And no tag on the inside as usual. So I flipped them around real quick and then I saw the telltale. Lululemon this. That a lot of times, you'll see that on other pants too, but a lot of times that will indicate that it's Lululemon. So then I go ahead and look for the logo and there it is. This is Lululemon's men's logo. Hopefully these have a size dot in them and I can find out what the style is. Oh, this is going to be fun if I don't have size dots and all this stuff figuring out what all these are but it does help selling lululemon it does help if you can find the actual style name another lululemon it's crazy right this one was the the matte black button saw the matte black button and then i was like oh i think that's what it is and then yep sure was and they're so soft and these were 4.99 so Oh, these have a size dot, size 34, excellent. Like that one. But they're just regular old shorts, just men's shorts. And the last item is Lululemon. Nope, Athleta. <laughs> just a pair of Athleta cute little leggings that were half off. So I grabbed those too. This store had a lot of good half off stuff. So. Maybe this will be the one I go to for half off stuff. I don't know. Can y'all tell that I'm really thinking about like going back to these stores again and again? Yeah, I, I really like it. There's a cat in the bag over here. Athleta, anyway. <laughs> They're like a dark green color. They're pretty, I really like these. All right, there's a lot of stuff, but that was a great haul and I had a lot of great things. So can y'all hear my dog snoring over there? That's that little, um, little piggy looking dog that we have. <laughs> She's so funny. And there's a kitten in the bag. Yes, we're gonna go shopping with a kitten in the bag. Yes, we are. We go shopping with a kitten in the bag. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching my gift haul. And if you made it all the way to the end, please give me a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And you can see in the next couple of days, what sells for me from this huge thrift haul, I am going to go take pictures, get this uploaded, and that's it. Bye, y'all.